Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today is Friday. And our activity today for Low Spend Month is our Use It Up Meal Challenge. And so basically what we do for that is we take something in our cabinets that you know we've been having trouble using, maybe it's just been kind of sitting there staring at us, and we're like, oh, I'll make that next time. And we're gonna purpose on this day to use it up. And the first Friday of the month, I almost always pick protein because there's always some kind of protein lingering around. Um, maybe it's a whole chicken. Some people don't know how to make whole or bone-in chicken. Maybe it's uh, lamb or something that you don't normally cook with. Um, but I usually try to encourage you to use a protein, even a vegan protein. Maybe there's some beans hanging around your house that you are not sure how to use. So anyway, this is the this is the day that we're going to use it. We use it up meal challenge. So um, I've been paying attention in the groups, things that people ask about. And one of the things people don't know how to cook is fish. A lot of people don't know how to cook fish. So I'm going to show you like this is not like a super fancy fish meal but this is just an easy fish meal that I make myself a lot of times for lunch when I want something that's quick and easy and tasty so um, and even when I was vegan I mentioned um, in my one year vegan update I'll link that at the top if you haven't seen it that maybe like once a month or once every two months I would really like feel like I really wanted some fish I don't know what it was my body was calling for it so I do like to have it but anyway I have, I don't know if you can see this, tilapia, which you don't even have to bombard my comments. I already know about tilapia. Some people don't agree with it being eaten. I'm comfortable with tilapia. But you can do this same recipe with cod or any other um, simple white fish. It's, it's not complicated. But this particular bag of tilapia I got from Aldi and it's $5.99 for two pounds. And each of the little fish, are in individual packets so that's what I like about it because even if not everybody in my house wants it I can just thaw a couple pieces of fish for me throw it in the oven and I have a really really easy meal so I am going to thaw this so let me show you on the back the thawing instructions right here on the back you can see it says for a quick thaw place the fish in a bowl of cool water and thaw or thaw under cool running water for 10 to 15 minutes so I have a bowl right here, and the reason why you want to use cool water, you don't want to use hot water because the fish is so thin it will actually kind of cook it. So we are going to take this out of the bag and put it in the bowl and let it thaw for a little bit, 10-15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to go. So with that quick thaw time, this is also another great meal if you forgot to take something out to thaw. That's one reason I like to keep fish on hand in case you forget. So anyway, we're thawing fish now. Here it is, thawing. And we'll have it thawed and ready to go in about 15 minutes. Okay, so it has been about 15 minutes. And I have my bowl of fish right here. And so I'm gonna take it out and shake it. And I just wanna show you how nice and soft it is. It's completely thawed. So basically all you're gonna do is you're just going to take your scissors, cut the top off. And I'm going to put this on my small par small bar pan, my paper chef pan. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to set that right on there. And then I'm going to take my other piece of fish. And I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to put it on the small bar pan. Again, also completely thawed. No iciness in it at all. And I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here are the two pieces of fish on my small bar pan. You see they fit kind of snug. And over here I have a little butter. And I have a little bit of seasoning. This is barely any seasoning. A little salt, a little pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And essentially I'm just going to take a little pat of butter right off the end here. And it is very hard because I thought I had some in my butter jar and I didn't. We're talking just a little dab. 
and I put one on each piece. And that's all I do. Now, if you are conscious right now of, of what you're putting on your stuff and you don't want to put butter, you could spray a little oil or put a little oil in the pan and that's just fine. This is just how I like to do it. And then again, just sprinkle a little salt, a little pepper. We're going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes or just until the fish flakes. So in addition to this being the use it up challenge, it's also going to be a leftover makeover because I have some rice and I'm going to fry the rice and serve the fish on the fried rice. So if you don't know how to make fried rice and you would like me to make a video on that, let me know down in the comments and I will, I've done it before in our frugal family food group in a live video, but I don't think I've ever done one on video here for you guys. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I will do a leftover makeover for you, but I'll show you what it looks like when we're all wrapped up. I'm going to fry this rice real fast while the fish cooks. Okay, the fish has come out of the oven and you can see that it flakes easily with a fork. You can see I checked it right down here. And what it means when it says that it flakes easily with a fork, it just basically is when you put the fork in that it just falls apart like that. You can see it in its little flakes. So this is done. I made my fried rice and fried kale that I'm going to serve with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together and we'll have a meal. There it is. Perfect. So if you've been scared to cook your fish, don't be. Like it's super easy. You just have to thaw it. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't take very long to cook it in the oven. So 15 minutes thawing, 10, and that's straight from the freezer. 10 minutes in the oven, under half hour, and I have a quick, easy, even some might say healthy meal. And I can't wait to eat it. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this. Um, this would be a great meal for Simple Saturday. Of course, our Saturday activity is something simple. So again, under a half hour, easy. You didn't even have to worry about thawing it. That's one for you. I so hope you guys are enjoying Low Spend Month. If you haven't signed up, I have links down in the description box below. It's not too late to get started. You've only missed a few days. Finish out the rest of the month and you can save 35% on your grocery budget. So anyway, I'm going to eat this. You guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time.